Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kara. In today's video, we are going to be doing a dresser makeover. This is the type of project that I have not yet tried in the past. So let's go ahead, take a look at what we're working with, and then I will walk you through my tentative plan. I am in true Kara fashion, winging it. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this and I'll walk you through my plan here. My plan is to actually paint this, the top, the side, the front, the whole dresser, minus the drawer fronts. Those we will be leaving as is. I'm just gonna clean them up nicely. Okay, so as I talked about, I'm going to be painting this with the exception of the drawer fronts. So the drawer fronts, I'm going to clean. I'm gonna replace the hardware, so we're gonna get rid of these. I'm undecided on these ones, um, but I'm thinking I'll probably replace all of them which means I'll have to do a little patching of the hole here. No big deal. Um, so we're gonna replace these with just some other sleek black handles. And then I have some you know, cleaning here, but I think this is paint. Oh yeah, that'll come right off. So, and then of course, I'm gonna remove these. Um, looks like they're just nailed on. So I can put a little wood putty in there and then Paint them. So first things first, I think we start by removing the drawers and then I'm going to do a quick scuff sand on the finish here just so that the paint sticks to it. Now, this is not a project I've done before. I am just going to use bare premium paint, paint and primer in one. And I of course got that in the oops paint section. So I spent significantly less than I was originally looking at. Um, and they just happen to have the color that I wanted, which is black. So spoiler alert, we're gonna do black. The best thing about this project is the structure was free. So if it doesn't turn out, no harm, no done, no foul. I didn't spend any money in it. Um, part of the reason that I've had the stressor for so long is time. I haven't found the time to do this project and I wasn't 100% sure what I wanted to do. So I found some different inspiration photos that I will put in here for you. Um, but ultimately, we're just gonna go with it and see what we get. So let's go ahead and take the drawers out and then we'll remove these and start our sanding. Here we go. I'm a little nervous, but I'm so excited.
Okay, we are sanded. We are no return. Can't go back now. We're committed. So we're going to go ahead and wipe this down with just a damp washcloth to get any sanding residue, um, dust, all that good stuff off. Let it dry and then we will paint it. I was going to spray it. I might still spray the big parts, but I'm going to start with the front and I'm just going to use a paintbrush to do those. It'll at least give us a good look at um, what we're looking at. So I'm gonna do this in two stages. First, I'm gonna wipe it down with some soapy water. And then I'm gonna come back and rinse it with just water. Um, get that soap off of there so there's no residue that way. Then, we will get to the fun yet scary part of painting. front first and then I think I will still be able to spray the top and the sides tentatively so we'll see I'm very nervous <laughs> oh boy this looks very purple I think I'm going to have to be very patient with this, and that is not easy.
Okay, so I've got about a first coat on almost everywhere here. And I'm gonna let it dry and come back and see what I think. So I'm having this predicament already, which is pretty typical for me when I get into a project. Um, so right now, it's that obviously the first coat, I didn't expect it to be full coverage. However, it's kind of taking on this like stain effect, which I think you could see on this side here. And I kind of like the way it looks. So I've got a decision to make now. I'm gonna let it dry completely and see what it looks like when it's dry. Do I do like a second coat and light and kind of keep, try and keep it to look like that wood grainy look that it's kind of doing right now with that stain effect that the paint is having? Or do I stick with my original plan, go full out, all black, full coverage? I really don't know. Really don't know what I'm gonna do. But I think what I'm, the first thing I'm gonna start with is just letting it dry and seeing what it looks like when it's actually dry because of course it always looks different when paint is wet. Okay, so here is dry. Let me see if I can get you a good. Dry first coat. I think I'm going to stick with my original plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and get another coat on here. We're gonna do full coverage, all black. I'm sticking to it. Final decision. But I really don't hate the way this looks. Final decision, we're painting it black, Kara. We're painting it black. You'll have to let me know in the comments if that was a mistake. Guess we'll find out when this is done. So. More painting, here we go. about just using a roller but once I got going I just kept on trucking so here we are using a paintbrush it's actually going much faster than I anticipated so that's always a plus so I think it probably needs one more coat for sure, and maybe on the sides and the top, it'll need, this one hasn't had a full second coat on yet, so maybe it'll need a third or potentially fourth one, but we will find out. Stay tuned. Update. So it's looking good, except I really am not able to tell in the light, like if that purple tint is gone or not. And so if I use my, oh, that's really bad for the camera. Dang it. I'll see if I can take a picture, but it does look a little purple. Okay, so I was worried about that purple tint, right? Remember I opened up the can, I was like, oh, it looks a little purple. So I'm gonna put it in some, in literally in the daylight, not in daylight light bulbs, but I'm gonna put it outside 
and see what it looks like with the sun on it, what tint it gives off, and if it has a very purple, like it just, you can tell it looks purple, not black, or if it has that purple undertone still, I'm gonna go ahead and I will just buy some paint, some black paint that I want. Um, but the nice thing is I can probably get away with like a sample size, it's, so it's just gonna need the one coat on top of it, likely. So my plan today is to go ahead and finish this, get it all covered up, um, same with the bottoms, with the paint that I currently have, and then if we need black paint, we'll get black paint. And then while the paint is drying, I'm going to go ahead and wash the drawer fronts um, and just make those look nice. I might put one up to it after it's dry to make sure that I still like it and plan is good to go. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it, other than the purple tint, so we'll see. Yeah. But it fits so nicely because it's so small. And it surprisingly has a lot of power. 